Hi, I'm Robin Ventura, and this is Jason Schistler, our director of coaching here at Vision Quest. And I want to talk a little bit about the different phases we have of Vision Quest training. Jason, we have six phases. We're in the race phase. Can you talk to him briefly about those these six phases and kind of when they come throughout the year? Right. This race phase is sort of our penultimate phase of the year, and everything sort of starts again with the the next phase, which is the maintenance phase that runs in September and October. And that one's really about just sort of maintaining fitness. You build through a whole preparation, uh, year-long training and everything like that. That moves into the transition phase. And that's moving from sort of just maintaining fitness and trying to preserve what you've got to actually starting to think more specifically about the next year. That happens usually in November and December. January and February then are our strength phase. We work on a lot of low cadence, cycling specific strength and things like that. March and April uh, brings about our climbing phase. So very similar types of efforts to what we did in strength phase where we start to bring the cadences up and get more of a threshold type focus. We just recently completed the uh, power phase, which was taking that threshold piece up and developing it a little bit more. And now into the race phase for uh, July and August, we're gonna look at a lot of race specific type efforts, limited uh, rest, highly variable efforts, touching all the energy systems all the time. And guys, it's called race phase, but we know a lot of the athletes here don't actually race at, at a high competitive level. Some of you guys do Grand Fondo, some of you guys do sprint distance, some of you are doing your first Olympic distance, maybe first half Ironman. Race phase is a general term, meaning higher intensities and encompassing a lot of the stuff that we've done over these last 16 weeks, which is build your lactic threshold, build your other energy systems like your VO2, building your tempo as well, and kind of bringing all those systems together to really kind of peak you for the competitive time of the season. So Jason's done a great job outlining all those phases. I just want to make sure you guys understand that all these things kind of build to this phase of your training. And if you've missed a couple of phases, it's not the end of the world. Ultimately, improve your, your kind of high-end energy systems. You're gonna be faster on group rides, and I really want everybody to maintain that high-end energy system, no matter what your focus, no matter what your goal is. These next eight weeks is gonna do just that. Do you remember when you got your lucky break?